So hey everyone, I'm Dan. I'm the co-founder and CEO of CurrencyTransfer.com. Now, personal pain has taught me that in 2014, international business payments are still a nightmare. And we look to cut the cost by around 85%. We've built the world's first online marketplace that matches businesses with the most competitive international payment quotes, giving you the SME, the importer-exporter, instant trade execution in one live, transparent marketplace. Stefan, my co-founder, and I have a very simple vision. We see a world where business foreign exchange should be as simple and as easy as booking a plane ticket online. Now, what's the problem? Well, these guys. The high streets banks are extremely expensive, and currency brokers are pretty opaque. Confusion reigns. I find it crazy that business FX is one of the last areas of financial services where the end customer truly doesn't know what they're paying. If you go to a supermarket, there's a price for apples, there's a price for oranges, and there's a price for pears. We think the price of booking an international payment should be clearly understandable and recognizable. But unfortunately, you get a lot of the high street banks and some of the opaque currency brokers pushing out marketing gimmicks like we offer 0% commission while whacking on a 5% FX markup. Now, if you're savvy, you might call up one or two FCA authorized currency brokers for a quote. But really, there's a problem because what they tend to do is give you a great rate on day one, only to widen and widen the markups as you become more comfortable with the service. In our industry, we call this a honeymoon rate. So what's the solution? Well, we actually built currency transfer um, to use ourselves to pay suppliers in Israel, where we have an office. And I want you to introduce you to one of our very early customers, Adam Ladwin, who runs a large advertising agency. And every month, he sends 200,000 pounds to US dollars. So very simply, Adam logs onto the venue, and he sets up his payment. The moment he clicks compare quotes, we're pulling in via API live rate, live price fees from all the providers that Adam has an account with. This is a regulated environment, so he has to have an account. So boom, he's got brokers just bidding to win his business in one live, transparent marketplace. And we built our business on three major foundation pillars, transparency, access, and control. And let's go quickly through each one of them. So transparency. Back to the supermarket argument, we believe Adam deserves the right in 2014 to see the market rate and his rate side by side without logging on to XC, Bloomberg, Reuters, looking at his, you know, Halifax online banking. It should be there, front and center of the screen. Access. If you're a BP, Shell or Adidas trading hundreds of millions of dollars a year or even per payment, you have access to price feed aggregators like FXL, Currenex, 360T. We just want to democratize that access to price feed aggregation down to the everyday Adam Ludwin, and in Q4, to private clients. And control. We shouldn't be at the mercy of the high street banks and the currency brokers. You know, power should be reversed. It should be in the hands of the customer to decide who he trades with, when, and at what time. So boom, Adam selects the winning bidder, and he's just booked a trade. And we see a world where in 60 seconds, Adam can set up a payment, aggregate rates, and book a transfer, almost as quick as you send a WhatsApp message and get a reply. So what's the size of the market? Well, it's $21 trillion a year. And in terms of our revenue earning potential, you're looking at $25 billion. And as I said, later on this year, through early customer demand, we're actually switching this on to private clients as well. So what's our competition and our secret source? Well, we're not a bank. We're not a broker. We're not a transferwise or currency. We're not a peer-to-peer -peer matcher. Potentially, any technology-enabled money service business can contribute rates to our live and transparent marketplace. And it's interesting what you were saying, Wynn, because maybe in phase two and three, we'd like to engage with the banks who have you know, portrayed as almost a common enemy. But if they want to be part of our open and democratic marketplace, so be it. And we'd love to have that conversation. Our business model is very honest, straightforward, and transparent. We take platform fees from uh, the contributing providers. And early customer validation has again shown us that in 2015, for high usage customers, there could be a SaaS play. So our customer acquisition roadmap. Um, we have deep international payment experience as a founding team, and we have deep digital marketing experience. So we're going to leverage that and recruit teams in London and Tel Aviv, where we have an office. And also, we want to be 
where our end users are right now. They're using the cash flows, the zeros of this world. And we've engaged with these guys in terms of understanding how we can you know, be part of that. So who makes currency transfer a success? Well, myself, I've got five years senior international payment experience and I've personally felt the pain of currency exchange. My co-founder, Stefan, has been 10 years in, um, in de web development and operations and together we have a very well-balanced team between tech, commercial and, and design with Phil, our, our lead designer. And in terms of our advisory team, we have some people that have, you know, built some of the world's leading deliverable FX brokers and been right at the beginning of those businesses. Our sister FX uh, comparison websites and information platforms for private clients has already helped customers save $700 million to date with the number one lead generator on these sister sites for deliverable FX firms. And we've built deep experience in the market. We've built speed and momentum. We were wired startup of the week. We've got our early contributors trading on the plat uh, early users trading on the platform. And we're looking to speak with investors, members of the press, early adopters, and anyone who wants to join our mission to fight for a fairer and cheaper deal on currency. Thank you.